So I'm going to talk to you about something I care a whole lot about, and it's really very simple. And uh, I don't have any flashy graphics, and I haven't done any amazing research. Um, I really have not done anything noble or valiant, and I I'm probably not going to um, blow your mind. But um, when you, because <laughs> you know, you watch some TED speakers, and it's like <laughs> mind blown. Um, hopefully, you'll all have that today. I, I know I'm going to. Um, but today, when you leave, you are going to go home, and you are going to create or enhance your family legacy, and you are going to serve humanity as a social historian. Now that I think about it, maybe that's actually kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> so, 15 years ago, um, I was a bit of an, not an anomaly, but I was rare. Um, I was a young woman with a career in photojournalism. Um, I, this was 15 years ago when I came to Elmira, actually, and um, when I showed up as a journalist at an event armed with my 70-200 2.8 and my flash diffuser, I commanded respect. People would stop me regularly, just curious about my equipment, about my career, about my education. You know, 15 years ago, it really was still quite something to be a photographer. There was some mystique about it. Um, and, and that all changed, that began to change in 1991 when Kodak released the first commercially marketed digital camera, and we all know what that did. Um, it took 10 years, though, for my local newspaper to get one into my hands at the low, low price of $25,000, and it made a one megabyte file. <laughs> so a dozen years later, we all have them. Most of us have one on us today in the form of the cell phone. More photographs are being made than ever before, and we are documenting our daily life in ways that we never did before. Okay, that's great, right? Here's the downside. We are now taking photography for granted. This happens when we take something that uh, the masses admire and we make it accessible to the masses. So think of paint by numbers. Oops, Bob Ross's happy little trees. Okay, we dumb down an art or a skill and we make it so everybody can do it and it's great, we feel really good because we made this thing, but we all start to think that we, we can do it and, and we lose respect and reverence for that which we used to admire because it has now become so easy. So, we're already making more pictures, this is good. We're not putting as much thought into them as we used to, but may maybe that's okay. Um, the thing is, is that um, you have to save them. And uh, since we take photography for granted, uh, be because it now no, no longer takes a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money, uh, the, uh, and our cameras fit into our back pocket and they're always with us, uh, we don't even bother to buy anymore. Um, point-and-shoot cameras, single-lens reflex cameras, because we all think that our cell phone is good enough. And listen, I'm going to digress for a moment to tell you that they're not good enough. Um, they're great for immediate gratification. They're great for convenience. Who wants to carry that big camera all the time? Um, some of them even have really big file sizes now, but they lack the optical quality to really create an heirloom that you're going to want to frame and hang on your wall for future generations to look at and admire. Uh, it's just not going to happen with, the, with your cell phone. That was really kind of the whole point of photography, to create something that, that you, can, you could have, that you could admire, it was important. So. That's not even the bad thing, the fact that we're losing a little bit of our quality. Uh, we're, we're taking lower quality pictures now with our cell phones than, than uh, was available to us in the 1920s with the equipment that we had then. That's something to think about. We're just used to a lower quality image. Um, but the real terrible thing is that uh, this, this convenience and this immediacy uh, has created is that um, we're throwing away our history without even thinking about it. We're not saving our photographic history in ways that future generations can find. Uh, in fact, we're erasing a lot of our history as we're just making room on our device for the next fun picture. So, uh, in the past, we had film, we had negatives, we had prints, we had tangible things that uh, could be found later. Uh, now our digital files sometimes exist only in our devices, on our Facebook page, or out in a cloud somewhere out there. Nobody can get to them unless they have that password or they know where to look. 
So maybe if we've been very good, we've burned them to CD, or we've stored them on our uh, computer hard drive, but then media changes and we transfer, or we upgrade computers, and we don't have the time to transfer everything over, so our legacy, photographic history, dies in the electronics disposal bin. But you're gonna go home and you're gonna fix this. You're gonna fix this dilemma. You're going to buy an external hard drive for not a lot of money, and you're gonna keep it plugged into your computer, and then every week, every month, maybe when your card gets full, you're gonna make a habit of downloading those pictures and you're gonna create monthly folders on that hard drive. You're gonna save nothing but your pictures in there and then you can find them and use them, future generations can find them and use them. You're gonna keep your history alive. This one small box is gonna be that thing that you grab at, uh, from your house in a fire. It's gonna be the first thing you grab, followed a close second with the children and pets that, that live with you. <laughs> so yes, the cloud is great, you should have that, but save them in something tangible too. There are no excuses not to do this, and our history depends on it. For goodness sake, save everything. History depends on it. Uh, save everything. Uh, ph photography is an exchange of love. And this photographer, Yervant, who I saw at a conference once, he blew my mind by saying, Photograph Photo photography is an act of love. Um, making photographs and allowing yourself to be photographed, it's an act of love. We make pictures about people and circumstances and places that we care about. Maybe we care about them for a lifetime, maybe we just cared about them in that moment, but we cared about them and thus they are worthy of being saved. Even selfies and duck lips. <laughs> you never know what's gonna matter to the people you love later. Look at this picture of my grandmother. <laughs> ha ha, grandma, way to go. This is a picture of my dad and my grandfather. Imagine how I felt when my dad handed me a box of these photographs in his exchange of love with me. Amazing. Um, look at the perspective that I have into my history, my own family history. Look at the cultural perspective that I have. We cannot rob our children and grandchildren of this kind of historical significance. So it's like this. Imagine that the cave painters of Lascaux, France, had to dry erase board and markers instead of cave walls and, and, and bark and, and berries to paint with. It's like we made a great hunt today and we took down a noble woolly mammoth and fed and clothed and sheltered us for many moons. But oh look, a saber-tooth <laughs> cub in a tutu, erase. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Imagine that with little teeth. <laughs> so the tangible item, your photo hard drive, is something that could be found and used someday by your kids and grandkids. Along with the, the photo historians and the cultural anthropologists 300 years from now who are really gonna wonder why did they all take so many pictures of themselves in mirrors? <laughs> now I did that right before I came on actually. I was like, yeah. And I'm gonna probably think about erasing that when this is done because the silliness will have worn off. But I'm not gonna do it because someday my granddaughter is gonna find that picture of me on the photo hard drive that I've maintained over these years, and she's gonna look at that picture and she's gonna say, ha-cha, grandma, way to go. And that is important. So don't take your photography for granted. Don't erase your acts of love. Thank you very much.